This is code.org. I'm currently working on their AP Computer Science Principles course. Let's see what we're doing. Moving memory. Try another one. Here's your starter code. X is equal to 5, Y is equal to 11, and Z is equal to 4. Ah, all three. So just a reminder on what we're doing here. We can only use plus, minus, multiply, and divide, and the equal sign. We cannot start typing numbers. I can't change Z to 14 to make it equal 8. That's cheating. I also can't change my council logs like this. Oh, look, uh, x is now equal to 2. Nope, we got to leave those. All we can type is a variable and an equal sign, and then this math stuff. And we got to make it equal what it says here. All right, so let's give this a try. x should be equal to 2. y should be equal to 6. Well, y I can see right away. Let's see. Yep, so 5, 11, yep, which makes sense, 5, 11, yep. We set that and boom. So y, if y needs to be 6, well, I could do y is equal to what y used to be equal to minus 5, except I can't say 5, right? Because what y is equal to right now is 11. 11 minus 5 is 6, but I can't say 5. Thankfully, look what x is equal to, 5. So boom, let's test. Nice thing about code is you can test a billion times. Okay, so right now we have a Y success. All right, now what else? Z is supposed to be 8. Ooh, well, I can do that one too. Because if I do Z is equal to Z plus Z, right? Because Z right now is 4. So I'm saying, hey, Z. Z gets this new value, whatever Z used to be equal to. And the computer says Z, oh, uh, boom, oh. 4, so it's going to be equal to 4 plus whatever it used to be equal to. Oh, 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So these new values should be 8. And now all we are left with right here is this 2. Keep in mind, right, before with these values, there's no... I mean, we could have gotten there eventually, but it would be kind of hard to get 2. But remember, this is not, this is not what they're equal to anymore. Right? So when I type, if I say x is equal to y here, x will not be 11. Okay, x is going to be 6 because we changed y right here. Okay, so x would actually be 6 if we were to do that. All right, well, we need it to be 2. All right, well, what's z currently equal to? 8. Hmm. 8 minus 6 is 2. So let's try it. 8 minus 6 is 2. 2, 6, 8. <laughs> These are tricky but fun. Awesome. Onward!